Hello everyone, I'm Carlos and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Please welcome back Olia, the beautiful Olia. How are you, darling? Hi, thank you for having me. And Thanks for coming. This time it's at my house, not yes. your house. <laughs> <laughs> We're very excited to bring you our review of the new Roja Dove Elysium. And I'm going to say Elysium because that's how I want to pronounce it. So I guess you just pick one. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> Keep it right there. Brooklyn So how exciting is this? I'm real excited. Me too. First of all, it's the second Roja Dove to be in my collection. Creation E is the first one. Yeah, I smell it just now. It smells really sweet and candy. Yeah, I like it. And I mean, I'm a gourmand lover, so this is totally in my category. And now this one, Elysium. 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 <laughs> this is going to be a long video here. <laughs> Elysium. I'm going to go with Elysium because <laughs> I'm going to follow you. But it was signed for me by Roja himself. Wow. When I got this, I was like, oh my God, I cannot believe it. Oh, can you imagine? It's, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> and um, yeah, I would, I would definitely, I don't own any in my private collection, but uh, you know, we have goals. We all have goals and aspirations. But you smell, so you smell oh, some. Oh, absolutely. I smell quite a few. Do you have any favorites that you have smelled that stay in your brain? Uh, yes, absolutely. I actually, one of my top is fetish. Um, it would be. <laughs> <laughs> she, she likes maths and leather. Just saying. I do, I do, and uh, and that one is a very powerful, you know, sexy. I think it's you know perfect unisex. They make a statement. Like, yes, absolutely. But there's a fetish woman as well. Yeah, I mean, I think that you can. I mean, I I wear a lot of colognes and um, you know men's fragrances, and I think I know a lot of men who wear women's. But I think all the scents uh, by Roja, they make a statement. They're dynamic and uh, they're totally definitely agree. very powerful. This particular fragrance here. I was so looking forward to it. I mean, it's a gorgeous presentation. There's never a lack of beautiful presentation when it comes to Roja Dove yes. products. But um, this, I saw pre-reviews on Fragrantica. You know how that goes when something comes out. People start commenting and leaving that it smells like Blue de Chanel, that it smells like Sauvage. I so don't get that. I own both and I don't see a correlation from those to this. But supposedly this is um, a more universal friendly fragrance than previous Roji Doves because mm -hmm. a lot of them are pretty much for the, the kind of stores and people who are really yes. deep into yeah, fragrances very, you know absolutely but this has a thousand a ton of notes not all of which are discernible by my nose but let me read them it's classified as a fougere it has lemon it has bergamot it has grapefruit it has lime it has lavender thyme artemisia Musk, Lily of the Valley, <laughs> Rose de Mai, Jasmine, Apple, Black Courant, Galbanum, Pink Pepper, Cipriol, oh Vetiver, Cedarwood, Juniper Berry, Benzoin, Labdanum, Leather, Ambergris, and Musk. Wow. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta catch my breath after that list. Holy moly. Wow. wow. That's, that's quite... I can't, I can't wait to smell it. Well, this is the dry down one. We'll leave that there. It's on my neck at the moment. Should I start with the neck? Go for it. Mm. Mm. Do you like it? I do. I do like it very much. Right, it's very, very go. fresh on you. I don't get any of the darker notes like Nagarmotha or Cipriol at all. No, on I totally skin. don't get it on you at all. I think on you, it's the, you know, it's that opening of bergamot and lemon, maybe. Um, the I fresh notes. I pick up on the jasmine, the black currant, you know, I, I pick up on the vetiver for sure. Vetiver, there she goes again. Oh, yeah. Vetiver. Everybody makes fun of the way I say that. So no, you say it right. To, I'm used to that. <laughs> I'm sorry, boo. It's the vetiver. <laughs> you know, I really, I really do like it. And uh, my husband owns uh, Blue de Chanel, so mm. I definitely don't think this um, this smells like it. Maybe some people will tell me I'm wrong, but, you know, that's just my opinion. But um, I really like it. I do see the, the kind of fruity tartness of the heart coming out. 
So that apple and black currants is definitely, you know. She's an expert. Thing. She got all that just from the from the paper. <laughs> you go, girl. I want half of your nose. Can you show your nose with me? Sure. Bing. <laughs> You know, I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. I'm not going to lie. I'm a big fan of this. I get, I'm not going to lie, a similarity to Aventus. Definitely not Blue Chanel or the other one, uh, Sauvage. Sauvage. Um, it's very, on my skin, it opens very bright and fruity and fresh and clean and masculine. I don't get the involvement of the darker notes in the fragrance for whatever reason. I wore it today, it was very hot and humid, and I got approximately four hours is how long it lasted on my skin. Okay, I mean, for me, that's that's usually how long the fragrances last on me, so. I, I still love, um, I love the freshness of it, so that's. Um, so it's definitely masculine, would you say? Yes, it's, it's absolutely masculine. I would recommend it to some ladies who like to play with masculine scents, such as me. You know, I you know I'm a big fan of that, so I would definitely rock this in a heartbeat. But you see, on me, it's uh, it's a little bit of that fruitiness that jumps to the top right away. But and I the florals it, come out much yeah, more on your skin. Absolutely. I but get I the rose there, mm -hmm. which I don't get on my skin at all. The jasmine, I think, really <clears> jumps. Um, I kind of wish that the the darker, heavier notes came popped off my skin a bit more, but. Regardless, it's still enjoyable to me. I, I definitely do like it. It's a pricey one. The concentration for this fragrance is Cologne Parfum, <clears throat> which I've never heard of before. So I guess it's somewhere in between Cologne and Parfum or, or the Toilette, whatever. That runs for 225 euros. It also is available in a 50 ml Parfum version for 375 euros. So it's pricey. I would love to smell the pure parfum, though. Yeah, that would be interesting. Maybe in that one, the maybe the base notes are kind of more powerful. I gotta tell you, when it comes to um, when they have duos or different um, formulations of fragrances, the the extreme parfum versions don't usually work on my skin. They they tend to be lighter. Like I get the best performance on my skin with eau de toilettes. Oh really? Pretty much, but I compared. Um... I wear the Honor by Amouage, and I have the, um, the Extract and the, the Auto Perform, and I noticed that the extra, Yeah, and the Amouage Honor one. Men or women? Uh, woman. Okay. I mean, I have the men too, but the men doesn't come in the... Extract. She's got a sick Montal collection. She's got a sick collection, period. She has like this, the coolest kind of like black leather showcase that opens. It's a wine bar, actually. I converted ah. it, I convert it into, uh, into the perfume bar, but why don't we... We sh we'll shoot it next time, so you guys will be able to go on a little tour of my place. I love that. I love yeah, that. We'll do that. So, you like? I like it. Um, I also want to say maybe for some people who saw the similarity with Aventus, to me personally, Aventus is uh, one of those classic aromatic fougere, and I know this one was announced as an aromatic fougere, and it doesn't really come off as that dry lavender kind of note in it. No, which, not yeah. on my skin either. I, yeah. I, get, I get the all the uh, fresh notes, the lemon, the bergamot, Absolutely. the apple, apple comes through. Yeah, it really, really jumps in, especially on me. And I love that. I love the freshness it kind of brings. And, and I love, uh, I mean, I love all kinds of scents, you know. So to me, I'm not exactly um, prone to just stick to one category. But um, I really like this. I think it's very versatile. Um, I think men and women can, can wear this. And uh, to me, I you'd think... You'd wear it? Absolutely. And you'd absolutely. recommend it for your husband as well? Yeah. I think this is a... For, I would steal it from him in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> it is what so. it is. So with that being said, thanks so much for watching. I would love to offer one... 5 mil decant to a worldwide subscriber, one subscriber. All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, like and share this video, then leave one comment down below with what you enjoyed most about my presentation and review of Elysium with Olya. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next one. As always, please subscribe and if you have not clicked on the bell icon, please be sure to do so so you don't miss any new reviews, giveaways, and all that fun stuff. Hope you're all are well and we'll see you at the next review. Bye guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And also click on the bell icon so you don't miss, so you don't, so you don't. First blooper! We kind of went through the, we went through eight minute video. My first blooper in the end. <laughs>